we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. <laughs> All right, so crazy story. Some of you guys who have been around for long enough know that from time to time, I pick up and move <clears throat> arcade cabinets, pinball machines, and things like that. Well, today is one of those days where I'm gonna take you guys on a trip along with me to go get a pinball machine. So this was a last minute job. I got called this morning about doing this machine or picking up this machine. The trip is about two, two and a half hours away. Let's get on the road. I needed to hook up the trailer. So I backed down the driveway and then I realized I don't have the correct attachment. I had to figure out how I was gonna hook up my trailer. Luckily, I have an adapter to the one and a quarter inch receiver on the back of this of my car. I have a specific hitch that works for my car and for the ID4. Of course, the hitch is on the ID4. So now I have to load up. I have some moving blankets, some straps, ratcheting straps, straps. I think I was getting the dolly together and it was really muddy so it took me a while to walk back and forth between the garage and the car <clears throat> get the trailer the deck of the trailer strapped down so it's not bouncing all down the road as I'm driving creating a whole bunch of noise and then I strapped down the dolly so where I'm headed is south of DC I'm headed to King George Frederick excuse me King George Virginia and this is me headed down. This is the Baltimore Beltway. So this is me getting on 95. And I have a two, two and some change hour ride ahead of me. So I'm just tooling down 95. And with the fact that I'm towing the trailer, this trailer weighs probably close to a thousand pounds behind me. I am um, just kind of tooling along at like 65, 70 miles an hour. I'm not trying to push the car and uh, there's traffic. So I just kind of take my time. This is, I believe this is um, Howard County, Maryland. Yep, I see some buildings I, I know. Driving down 95, doo, 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 doo. Coming up on College Park. This is College Park, Maryland. Famous for Maryland, University of Maryland. I'm passing Ikea right about now. And then I head south on 295, which is the Baltimore Washington Parkway. So this is 295. And I head down 295 and then I drive through DC. So we haven't gotten to DC just yet. Welcome to DC. There was a bridge that collapsed I went under. It was a, like a walking bridge that collapsed a year or two ago. And that's where I just drove past. Still in DC and about to get back into Maryland. Nope, not yet. Still in DC. I'm driving through DC. I kind of just cut almost directly through DC or a piece of DC. Welcome back to Maryland. And this is where National Harbor is. This is the bridge crossing over into Virginia. So welcome to Virginia. All right, so not gonna lie and tell you I know my way around Virginia well enough to be able to pull out or point out specific landmarks. Aside from maybe Quantico, which will be coming up in about an half an hour, 45 minutes, my time on this video. But in your time, just look out for it on the left. It's a big pointy spire. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you very much about Virginia, North Virginia at all. So I'm just going to let the video play. Enjoy the music and I'll, well, I'll see you when I get to the destination.
we're here. So I backed the trailer up into the driveway after making contact, first contact with the seller. Back the trailer up into the driveway, get it all situated. Get you guys ready so you can have a, a nice view of me loading the trailer. Get everything ready. The deck rolled out. The dolly taken off the trailer. Go up in the house. Get everything pulled out. Boom. Yay. We get the machine loaded up pretty quickly. Nice. Get it back outside. Up onto the deck of the trailer. And then what do I do? Open up the trunk and block the view. So <laughs> when I finally realized that I opened the trunk and blocked the view, I put the trunk down. This was as I was finishing strapping everything down. I'm talking to the seller, making small talk and getting everything loaded up. Pretty cool guy. Definitely would pick up machines from him again. Anyway, get that loaded and I'm on my way. All right, so I'll say thank you, have it, because I'm only halfway done. Oh, boy, I really enjoy when the person who I'm picking up machines from is personable. And um, yeah, they make it simple. So everything was pretty much ready. The machine was broken down, and all I had to do was go inside the crib, pick it up, put it on the trailer, strap it down, and I'm on my way back home. It is getting dark, so you will not be able to see, or you won't see the ride home. If it were later or in the summer, I would allow you, or I would let you see the ride back home, but I got a two hour ride ahead of me, and um, I'll pick this back up when I am dropping the machine off. As promised, <laughs> I'm at the drop off location. I'm getting everything unstrapped. The buyer is getting the legs and the back glass for the head of the machine out of my car. I get the machine unstrapped, the moving blankets off the loading ramp down, and kind of funny, I had to put my Crocs in four wheel drive because I almost slipped off of the trailer. I'm waiting for the buyer to get back. All right, so he's going to help me get the, everything off of the trailer, make sure I don't uh, keep going down the hill. And we're going to get it loaded up. It's going into uh, like a restaurant slash bar where he's going to store it and uh, I guess restore this machine. So here's some fun times. Struggle was indeed real good in this machine up the stairs. The good thing is, he was there to help. He really made the light work. It literally took us 30 seconds to get the machine up the stairs. It was not a big deal. Really like the people who are willing to help. Hey, I can't do this all by myself. stairs get it into the room well actually I just dropped it right by the door and then I'm out all right so crappy light aside <laughs> there you have it ah uh, an adventure that was a, it, I don't even know how to explain it. I got a text message this morning that said, hey, are you available? Yep, I am available. Made a couple hundred dollars real quick. And that was just something I do on a day when I don't, and I'm when I'm not doing barbecue. So um, I know this was a random, random video. And if you appreciated it, please leave me a, a like and a thumbs up down below. Um, if any of you guys are into pinballs and or arc arcade, excuse me, machines, please let me know what pinball machines and arcade cabinets you have and are, or you are interested in. Either way, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Who knows what that's going to be.